hi guys hope you're doing well today i'm gonna be doing a review for this hand blender so i want us to unbox it together and see how it performs i'm gonna be doing a few recipes just to test the performance and i hope you like it guys so let's do this so guys today we are doing a review like i said and here i have the motor this is what we connect to all the other attachments and this is a 500 watts motor then here i have the stick blender and it has two blades then this is the whisk and this is the knob we'll use to connect the whisk to the motor. And then this is the chopper or the grinder. It's just a small and good size. And then we have the jar and this is all the items that were in the box. So let's start by connecting the stick blender. So you just connect it and twist it and it's the same way you disconnect it. And this is how it looks like. Let's move on to the grinder and it just has these two blades. And so you just close the lid and then connect it to the motor and this is what it looks like. Now let's take a look at the whisk. It's just a light whisk and you just connect it to this knob and then connect it to the motor. So now I decided to try a few recipes so that I can see how they all perform. And we are going to start by testing the stick blender. So here I have some avocados, some frozen bananas and some spinach and milk. Just put all these ingredients in a jar and blend it. So it blended this smoothie so effortlessly and it was just an easy task. So I felt like I didn't put it into full test. And so I decided to go ahead and try some cucumber juice. So I chopped up some cucumbers and then I kind of chopped them into big chunks and then added them in the jar and some water and blended it. And what happened is that the cucumbers were sticking in the blades. And so I just kept removing them. But once I removed all the stuck cucumbers, it was then able to blend these juice very fast and it crushed those cucumbers in no time. I strained it and like you can see the residue is very smooth and very finely blended. So I just blended it, added some lime and it did a good job guys. I was impressed. Now it's time to test the chopper and I'm starting by making some bread crumbs. So I just blended the dry bread and you see it gave me some very nice fine crumbs. You can also use these to make oat flour or rice flour or any of those things. And then I made a salsa with some few ingredients and it made it so fast. You can just use this to chop onions or make ginger garlic paste and the list is endless guys. It really does a good job. The next thing is to try the whisk and it looked very light to me. So I just decided to try whisking some eggs to make some omelette and it did just fine. I also later on used it to make some pancake butter and it did very good. So you can also use it to make whipping cream, uh, pancake butter or any other thing that you normally whisk. So that's it guys. I hope this video has given you some insight. Uh, if you intend to buy a hand blender and I think it's very effective and it really makes work easier. Anytime you want to blend something simple, you don't have to get out a big blender and start blending stuff. I think this one really simplifies everything and it did a very good job. So that's it guys and I'll see you on the next video.